What stands out in manipulations in general is using people's emotions, creating a void in them, and using these emotions for your own purposes. In the same way, Johann Liebert used the emotional weaknesses of his opponents. This requires good analyzing skills and acting, but Johann already possesses these skills. So what methods did Johann use? Let's get started. Evoke fear. Of course, our most basic emotion is fear. Every human being with emotions has fears. They may just have repressed them. By exposing them, they can be brought into the game. Inducing fear is a powerful tool because frightened people are easy to control and cannot think rationally. By confronting people with uncertainty and putting them in a situation where they feel vulnerable, it makes it harder for them to think and they become vulnerable to other thoughts and manipulation. It can also use direct methods to cause fear by physically endangering the target. Tariq bin Ziyad, after crossing the Strait of Gibraltar, orders his ships to be burned. He leaves only one option for his army, to win or to die. As a result, they emerge victorious in the battle. The more bad outcomes that can be created, the more fear can fill their minds it can significantly inhibit their ability to think and cause them to panic. Johann uses this tactic by starting a fire and effectively trapping his victims, causing terror and panic in people. In addition, you can also use your status and position to threaten people with negative consequences. Most of the manipulations used today are done using the power of position. Attracting hate. Everyone has the capacity for aggression. All it takes is a little motivation and encouragement to bring out their anger. First, it is necessary to find out what the person hates and despises by looking for anything that triggers their anger and looking for the root cause. Some root causes are disrespect, injustice, jealousy, and failed expectations. Understanding the root causes makes it easy to analyze anger in people and in this way create a situation that will arouse anger. When people are angry, giving them support and encouragement to direct that anger at someone or something makes them feel that they are right and that they should do something about it. It also makes sure that the more they are reminded of the bad things that have happened to them, the more they can continue to fuel their hatred towards a particular target. Johann manipulated people using their anger when he was a child, and because he understood hatred in people so well, he was able to manipulate people to kill each other in the orphanage. Guilt tripping. By instilling guilt, people can be made to feel that they have to do something. A simple way to instill guilt is to tell someone all the mistakes they have made. One of the basics of instilling guilt is to destroy their own sense of self. Many people like to think of themselves as a good person, but if these beliefs are destroyed, they begin to sink into their own unhappiness and guilt. The victim will then be more susceptible to advice and suggestions. In the case of Johann, he informs Richard about all the bad things he has done, exposes the lies he has told to himself and others. Johann also exposes the daughter he cares about, which further destroys his moral self-image and causes Richard to drown in his own feelings of guilt. Broken dreams. People in general tend to become unhappy and upset when their plans or goals do not materialize. In this method, the victim is shown why their hopes and dreams are not possible, even secretly sabotaging them as they try to achieve their desires. The point is to make them see a cruel and unhappy reality. The more negative stimuli they are provided with, the more discouraged they will become. Eventually, the person will stop pursuing their desires. The situation where Johann finds an orphan, this child has the desire to be with his mother, but Johann starts to plan the idea that he might be an unwanted child and gradually drives him to despair and helplessness, so that when the child goes to the red light district to look for his mother, he starts thinking about what Johann said and witnesses many unpleasant things that prove Johann's point, which makes the child give up his dream of finding his mother because of the despair he feels. These methods might be appropriate for a created character. Johann is completely emotionless and has no need for socialization. 
Even though he is an interesting character to read or watch, it is not wise to try such things for people like us who are used to a social environment and have strong emotions. Because in real life, not everything goes as you plan it. And at the end of the day, you can end up as a loner with a terrible impression of yourself in the eyes of others. Know these things, others may try them on you. You can counter them carefully and consciously. Stay healthy and conscious.